Hello, lovely people. How are you all? Hope you're all keeping well and safe. Um, so today I'm going to talk about things you can do to keep your brain occupied while we're a bit isolated. Because um, I, I had a head injury um, in my car crash and I found some of these things quite useful for keeping my brain going. So the first thing, the first tip is what I do is I look around the room uh, and I see an object and then I write a list of all of the things I could do with that object. And then when I finish that, I think of something that I couldn't do with that object. Um, and when I've done that, I then think, what if I was stuck? Like, for example, I thought of a fountain pen. I thought to myself, oh, I wouldn't want to be on a, a dinghy with a sharp fountain pen uh, in case I popped it. But then I set myself a little challenge. You're stuck on a rubber dinghy with a fountain pen. How's that going to help you escape or get to safety? Now, you can just write that story for yourself. It's National Storytelling Day today. Or you could send it to a mate and get them to send one of theirs to you. Have a little bit of a story writing competition. Or you could just tell each other the story. Anyway, so that's one idea. The other thing I've been doing is painting by numbers. Because it's really helping me with me fine motor skills because I broke my arm. So that's something I do. Or you could just do some colouring. And this year is the colouring book for goths. You just need a black pen for that um and uh, the other thing is i'm researching siege warfare because i thought it was quite apt in the current situation and what it's inspired me to do is make a trebuchet so i found that in the cupboard so i'm going to make that just for a bit of fun you know when i was a kid i used to love things like that so i'm going back to being a kid a bit and then i talked to my mate and i said go on have you got any ideas of things you can do to keep your brain going and she goes make a chicken clucker and i said what she said, make a chicken clucker. So, uh, basically, you need a plastic cup, a, a paper clip, uh, and some string. Uh, I've had to stick duct tape on this one because I sat on it earlier and broke it. I have a lot of duct tape in my house. And, um, and basically, you need a wet cloth. And then you do this thing. Let's see if this works now. I've snapped it. It does sound a bit like a chicken when it works. But anyway... Um, you can look it up on the internet how to make a chicken clucker. It's five minutes of your life you'll never get back. But hey, it might entertain your children if you are one of the people self-isolating as a family. I'm all on my own, so I can do these things without anybody noticing. And I'm having quite a lot of fun, as you can imagine. Anyway, love you all loads. Stay safe. Bye.